Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Old Warwick's dead. Think I'll arm me now, I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel. Ah! <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome to Skyrim Mods Weekly, I'm back home in New York, about to churn out some more videos for y'all. As for the t-shirt design, some of y'all suggested a posh mud crab with the quote, Dost thou even hoist? I thought that was a great idea, but then it's like, oh wait, I run a gaming channel, not a fitness channel, so I don't know how many of you guys actually hoist or even understand what the quote means itself. I know I don't hoist. Well. Actually, I do hoist, but it just doesn't look like I hoist. But anyway, so I have not settled for any one idea yet. But I will notify you guys when I do. Alright, so let's get started with the first mod, which is the Reserve 2 by ListZ. So this mod features the bard with the worst voice in Skyrim, your own little Spriggan pet with his little habitat here in your library, plenty of empty shelves and chests for you to store your stuff in, of course, you always have to have your uh, ritual stones or whatever the fuck these things are called. You've got a very spacious and cozy looking living room with a fireplace and your own dog named Mocha. A lot of people actually complain about, you know, like the dog's idle barking, but personally, I think that actually adds to like the atmosphere of your house. So it's not always dead silent and I'm also a fan of adding a bar to the house, but definitely not the uh, most annoying sounding one. It also comes with a door very high up on your wall in which you could open with a button to uh, maybe let some sun in in the morning. It's also got uh, what you might think is a dead rabbit at first, but in fact it is actually a plush rabbit for you to cuddle with at night when you're going to sleep. You've got a line of mini mannequins which would be really creepy if they all started moving like they usually do in a house mod. Your very own bar which also comes with your own drinking buddy. Cause <laughs> what kind of loser drinks alone anyways? Psh. It's also got a very fancy shower and you also get your complimentary bars of soap. Not sure if bars of soap or bricks. I'm guessing he probably retextured some fucking iron ingots and called it soap. And secret rooms are always a plus, except when there's really nothing interesting in the secret room. So I think the interesting structure of the house with the balconies and many of the nice interesting touches he's added definitely elevates this house mod above the average house mod. I really like this house mod. Just be sure to get rid of the bard and don't use the sketchy soap. And next up we have a really shitty mod, quite literally. This is Manure by Joxor. And we can all appreciate the uh, thumbnail he has for his mod on the Steam Workshop. We can say she was a uh, shit-faced. Uh, okay, I'll shut the fuck up now. Joxor is actually the creator of the legendary quest mod Worm's Tooth. Looks like he got bored of making epic quests and decided to make a mod that adds pooping to the game for animals of course. Now there's more to it than just animal shitting. You can actually harvest the doo doo and smelt it to make manure ingots or create a cudgel which is a new weapon using those ingots and then even using the manure in alchemical recipes to create poisons. Who knew you could do so much with animal turd? Now animals don't just randomly poop, there's actually a poop system that they follow in which animals are more likely to poop during the day and horses will poop less while they're being ridden. Poop likelihood also decreases if the animal is running or sprinting and if alerted, alarmed or in combat poop likelihood increases. Animals won't poop if they're sleeping, sitting, dead or unconscious. And there's also a randomized fart to announce each poop cycle loop. Alright, so you're looking for a new beautiful female, or you're just a pimp looking for your new main hoe. Then you're gonna want to check this mod out. This is the new elven follower Aranya by Steffi Raw X. And damn, she looking fine. She's like a heavenly blessed beauty sent from the gods. 
Considering this was a all natural look, the only mods used were Better Females No Makeup Edition and Natural Eyes. Definitely the most attractive original user created face that is not no, based off of an already existing again. celebrity. I'm talking Maybe about, I, of course, Jessica Alba. I'm if she can beat Jessica you. Alba in a one on one, she'll be my new main uh, home. Except that Jessica Alba never loses in a one on one. And next up we have a new weapon mod, I haven't really covered a weapon mod in ages. This one is called Warrior Within Swords by Bloodfree. Looking at the name, I thought it was going to be like a sword that allows you to summon some warriors to fight for you, but it actually just adds two new swords from the Prince of Persia game series. They come in both dagger, sword, and great sword form, so whatever kind of playstyle you prefer, you'll still be able to use these weapons. They look amazingly high resolution, and I'm sure many of you Prince of Persia fans would really appreciate this mod. Alright, so I actually have two armor mods to show you guys this week. The first one is a retexture of the Elite Rogue armor. This one is by Anka01. My quandary with this armor mod, uh, with the original one, was that it makes your character look really anorexic. This armor mod uses literally like the lowest value on the weight slider. But anyways, that has nothing to do with the retexture. Re this guy did a really good job really improving on the original and making everything of course high resolution. And next up we have another lore friendly armor from Hoff Trooper. This one is the Troll's Bane armor and weapon. It is available for both male and female. It is of course a combination of already existing vanilla armor pieces with troll skulls attached to the shoulders and as a helmet in a few variants. The troll skulls are indeed retextured by Cavill and the weapon is pretty much a sledgehammer with a troll skull lodged on the end of it. This one not as popular as his other armors. And for the last mod this week from the creators of Obi Sand City comes Death Mountain, a new adventure mod. Well actually this is more than an adventure mod, it's more of a uh, quest slash dungeon slash new town slash home mod. Though there's no actual quest to be completed, you will find notes scattered around that will tell you what to do next. Personally, I'd rather have quests guiding me rather than, you know, notes that I might possibly miss. In fact, I was pretty oblivious to what the story was actually about. I think I was supposed to rescue a young sorceress named Norelia. Just a warning though, Death Mountain is very uh, computer CPU intensive. There will be a heavy loss in frame rate unless you're running a very powerful computer. You could tell the team behind this mod put in a lot of work. There's just so much to see, so much to do, so many things to kill, and some very bizarre sights. The Daedra here are not aggressive, so I'm guessing once you clear everything out, Death Mountain actually becomes a town, and the tower becomes your home. Overall, a very interesting and an intense mod. I just wish I knew what was going on. And those are all the mods for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe for all the best Skyrim mods every single week. Thank you for watching. Peace.